you're gonna love him. Put your hands together and get real excited for Connor Darty! <laughs> Straight chain month. How are y'all doing? Do we have any straight people in the audience? Unfortunately. Yes, round of applause. We love representation. I am not straight. I am gay. I'm actually a gay man for anyone in the back who saw me and thought, what is that sassy toddler doing on stage? <laughs> uh, a little bit about me. This is my first time doing queer comedy hour. So yeah, naturally I'm a little bit nervous. Um, but don't worry, if it's anything like my other first time, it's only going to be painful for me. <laughs> Another fun fact, I do not have any straight male friends, which is fine because I feel like we've canceled them as a culture. <laughs> I'll be honest though, sometimes I wish I could pass a straight, just so straight guys would invite me to do straight things with them. like eat at Buffalo Wild Wings and participate in circle jerks. But I could never pass a straight. I think it's because I hold my wrists like a T-Rex that's carrying too many groceries. Or maybe it's because I dress like a gay tablecloth. It's, just sad. It's, it's fine though because I love being gay. It gets me out of doing all the things straight men have to do, like driving and <laughs> procreating and making your dad proud. <laughs> the only thing gay men are expected to do is quote Mean Girls and cyberbully anyone who comes for Lady Gaga on Twitter. <laughs> yes, both of which I do regularly. <laughs> I went to St. John's Prep which is an all-male Catholic school in Danbury, Massachusetts. Um, so I know as much about the female reproductive system as any Republican senator. <laughs> I just know better than to try and legislate it. <laughs> A lot of people are surprised to hear that I went to an all-boys school. I get it. I don't seem like the type of guy who would do well in an all-male setting that wasn't an orgy. <laughs> a lot of people are even more surprised to hear that I didn't hate it. But honest to God, Catholic school was not that bad. The most homophobic thing about it was the uniforms. <laughs> Casual gay slurs I can handle. Bootcut khakis year round. <laughs> I would rather be crucified. <laughs> my, my favorite part of high school was drama club. We didn't really have many girls, which meant all the effeminate boys like me got to play women in cross-dress in the name of Christ. It was like RuPaul's Drag Race for closeted homosexuals. I got to play a lot of complex ladies. Um, I played a disillusioned lover. I played a high priestess. I played a woman of woman, a mother of two trapped in a dungeon. Um, and one time I played a woman in a chorus scene. I had no lines, I just really wanted to wear a bonnet. <laughs> and I I committed. Like I would walk around in my house in a bra and heels just to get into character. I was like the Joaquin Phoenix of drag, just <laughs> method as fuck. <laughs> and when I wasn't playing a woman, I was playing a talking animal. I guess it was easier for audiences to believe that I was a talking rat than a heterosexual man. <laughs> Which is fair, I played a straight man for 18 years and I was not convincing. <laughs> Just ask my two ex-girlfriends. They're gay now. <laughs> Actually, every girl who has ever had a crush on me is gay now. Which I think makes sense, I'm a solid lesbian ape. <laughs> I recently turned 26. No, I hate it, I hate it. Um, I think it'd be easier to accept my age if I actually looked like it, but I don't. I look like 21 Jump Street infiltrated the Boy Scouts. I look like a digitally aged photo of a boy who went missing. <laughs> Like, here's what Billy would have looked like at 18 if he hadn't been, you know, abducted and murdered. <laughs> My roommate and I watch a lot of true crime. Uh, but adulthood is just not what I expected it to be. You know, when I was in college, 
I could shotgun a pizza and then run a 5K. Now I take Tums recreationally. <laughs> In high school, I used to go to the nurse's office just to get out of class. And now I actively avoid going to the doctor because I'm not sure my life is worth the $50 copay. <laughs> like, if I'm meant to get better, I will. <laughs> and if not, Darwin. I'm a Christian scientist by circumstance, not choice. <laughs> Being in your mid-20s is weird because it's like you're an adult, but you're not. Like, I pay rent, but I don't know how to open mail. Um, <laughs> I don't open my mail, I just got jury duty too. Um, and I have the acne of a 14 year old boy, but the under eye lines of a woman who's this close to solving John Binet's murder. <laughs> I'm like the human equivalent of an H&M shirt. Cute-ish, functional enough, but overall shoddy construction. <laughs> and honestly, I'm just waiting to end up in a landfill, like Billy. <laughs> it's fictional. <laughs> I think my biggest fear with aging is balding. I wouldn't look cute bald. I'd look like Caillou. <laughs> and you know who wants to fuck Caillou? No, I'm asking if you do, you can find me after the show. <laughs> On the last note, so I don't know if you've all seen this, but Queer Eye is coming back next month. Ooh, okay. I guess we have some homophobes in the audience. Um, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm obsessed with the show, but I kind of hate the unrealistic expectations it sets for gay men. Like, it's no longer enough for us to compliment women's shoes and tell straight people what's popular. We're now expected to do absurd things like build furniture, <laughs> practice self-love, <laughs> make guacamole. <laughs> and I can't do any of those things. I cannot even half an avocado. <laughs> All right, that's it. I'm Connor, thank you. <laughs>